John, breaking news this weekend. In fact, I've had several people call me about it already. You just signed or received a letter of interest in the amount of up to $170 million from the Export-Import Bank of the United States. Okay, what does this mean? It sounds very exciting. Well, what does it mean? I mean, it's 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 a great uh, potential for the company now. It means that you know we've got non non dilutive uh, capital behind us. We've got uh, capital that that's that's backed by a sovereign, a sovereign government. Um, it comes at, obviously at a very good uh, interest rate, and it's patient capital, and it's capital that's linked uh, you know to the whole critical mineral space. It really wants to see phosphate and LFP battery uh, developed um, in North America, obviously for you know civilian and uh, in military use. So, John, in reading about Axum. And this line of credit, it says that Exxon is an independent executive branch agency with the mission of supporting American jobs by support by facilitating the export of U.S. goods and services. You're a Canadian company. That's why I'm asking you more questions here. Explain to us how First Phosphate secured this line of credit, please. Yeah, great. So Exxon Bank has a responsibility of securing uh, exports for the United States. Um, generally around the world to finance uh, exportation of uh, U.S. goods and services. So obviously, you know, we can qualify for that. Um, the line is mostly guaranteed towards um, the purchase of U.S. goods and services um, by First Phosphate. Um, it pertains to, you know, most goods and services that we could use now in the development uh, of our project. Um, and it's also tied into, you know, critical strategic minerals that will create jobs in the U.S., and they also know that eventually, um, you know, the phosphate and the LFP cathode active material will create, you know, battery jobs, jobs of the future um, in North America, Canada, and the United States. So I'm assuming this has something to do with your previous news release. As usual, John, lots of news. First Phosphate and American Battery Factory signed MOU to onshore up to 40,000 tons of LFP cathode active material production in North America. I'm assuming this had was some of your leverage you used for the Exum line of credit. Uh, well, you know the the Exum process is a very long process. It's been going on for for many months. Um, sometimes when things happen, they don't necessarily happen in the order that you want them to. But this one happened in a really good order because, like you said, uh, two to three weeks ago, uh, we signed with American Battery Factory um, for the onshoring of forty thousand tons of LFP cathode active material, which at today's raw material prices could be somewhere between you know half a billion to a billion dollars of revenue by twenty twenty six to twenty twenty eight. And with the XM line, now that gives us the, the opportunity to realize on that vision, to realize, you know, on the mine, purified phosphoric acid plant, but also the LFP CAM active material plant to actually make the material for American battery factories. So we're quite excited. Very exciting news. Congratulations, John. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Because I know your team is working around the clock. Yeah, we're just very thankful, um, you know, for this opportunity. We're thankful to the U.S. government. We're, we're thankful to uh, XM Bank for recognizing it. And it's something, you know, we, we want to be very respectful of and uh, build a, a great business here that's going to contribute to the uh, North American economy. John, thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, Tracy. Always a pleasure as usual.